Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get really cute, edgy looking braided hairstyle. <laughs> That's what we're gonna call it. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with it, even though it made that sentence made no grammatical sense whatsoever. But anyways, I just have regular blow-dried hair and I'm creating a deep side part. You can choose whatever part that you'd like, and I'm just moving all the hair to the side. Then from the very top part of my head, I'm creating a section going down to the back of my hair. Did I just say here? <laughs> I meant to say ear, but technically you do hear out of it. <laughs> so anyways, this is what your section should look like, like a kind of like a square. And then with that section, you're gonna create two equal parts. So you're just gonna go horizontally back to the back of the section and here are your two equal parts. So I'm just clipping the top section away for later and I'm wor working on the bottom section first. So from the very front part of this section, I'm creating three equal strands and essentially we are going to braid this hair. You can call this a cornrow, a French braid, a Dutch braid, whatever you call this kind of braid, that's what we're going to be doing. So I'm just braiding all of the hair that is closest to my scalp and then once I get to the back of this section, I'm just going to braid about two inches down the hair shaft. Now you can totally complete the braid all the way down to the very ends of your hair and have two braids on this one side, but for me personally, I just like to have the hair that's closest to my scalp braided. So um, to do a braid, you're just going to have three equal strands and then you're going to go over or under the middle part with the side strands if that makes sense um, just your regular standard braid however you like to braid and then right here when I get to the very back part of the section I'm just going to braid about two inches down right here and I'm going to pin this back on the back of my head and make it really tight so I'm just grabbing two bobby pins and securing that in place if you want to have two braids on this side going all the way down by all means go for it that looks really cute as well so now that that is pinned into place I'm releasing the top section and we're gonna do the exact same thing on this section so three equal strands from the very front part of this section and I'm going to braid this going all the way back to the back of the square section that we created earlier and pinning it in place. Now if you don't know how to braid, you don't have to worry. You can totally follow the exact same steps with all the sections and instead of braiding like how I am with three strands, you can just do a twist. So just grab two equal parts from the very front part of each like small rectangular section on the side and twist them and then pin it into place. It'll look very similar to this. It's not gonna have a braided look. It'll have more of a twisty look, but if you don't know how to braid, that's a great alternative. After I pin this into place, I'm going to just grab the very front part of the larger section, like the side that my part is on, and I'm just going to tease it for a little bit of lift. I personally like to have more of a sleek look whenever I'm rocking this type of braided hairdo thing, but you could put some waves and make it more romantic, you could curl it, you could do a super tight curl and have it really big and beautiful. There are so many ways that you can wear this braided hair look, so try it out. So that's about it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I'm kind of a mess today and I can't even speak proper English, but I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to give me a great big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you want to see some more videos from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!